Yep, that's okay. That's okay, although it wouldn't hurt for changing. Is there anything that's not 100%? Me. Anyway, morning world. Welcome to Friday, 9th of June. And another day on the tractor. That's all okay. They're, they're okay. All right, so yesterday, I will briefly go over yesterday's events. Uh, I hit a bit of a wall yesterday, last night, um, and I've had a telling off from Mrs. P and my daughters this morning. So, so yeah, so just in case stuff doesn't go quite right today, I'll explain yesterday and then you'll know what it's all about. Biscuit, come on, let's go. Well, as you know, well, you'd know if you've been here a while. Last couple of weeks been fairly intense with haymaking. Don't need that. Um, and of course, with Mrs. P being away, um, it's been also reasonably busy with stuff at home and on the tree company. So I'm trying to keep the tree company and the farm stuff going. But obviously right now, haymaking for me, takes a bit of priority. So uh, we've been putting in some fairly long hours. And, and five years ago, wouldn't have been a problem. I'd have just brushed this off, no problem. But I think, I think I got to a kind of admit that I'm five years older than I was five years ago. And this thing is not in quite as good shape <laughs> as it was then. So basically all it is is, um, when I got home yesterday and stopped, I just flumped. I just basically, I didn't even have energy to eat my tea. So, yeah. Right, okay. That's enough, oh, woe is me. Well, it's warm up a second, and then we're gonna go. Anyway, yesterday, um, I managed to get two loads back from the other farm yesterday, and I had intended to do a third, but uh, Mrs. P's train was due in for, uh, it was 10 to four yesterday afternoon, which kind of broke up the afternoon for a bit. A bit. And unfortunately for me, um, just as I was getting to the railway station to pick her up, she ran me to say, train's been canceled, so I'm stuck in Swindon. Somebody had been poorly on a train somewhere and the train was stuck. I think actually a port at Kemble. So I had to sit in a Kemble train station for an hour because it wasn't worth coming home. It's, it's 20 minutes drive home, 20 minutes drive back. If I'd come back, I'd have been at home for 20 minutes and it, and it just wasn't worth it. So I had to stay there, which was no real big problem apart from the fact that I hadn't finished, finished editing last night's video. So last night's video for members was a bit late and that's the reason why um, it was down to trains. So, and it wasn't actually really the train's fault. Somebody got taken very poorly on a train which meant they had to stop and wait for medical help, I presume, so. Anyway, anyway. So uh, last night um, I had, after bringing Mrs. King back, I had intended to go over and get that third load never happened because once I came home and I stopped and I'm sure some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about when I stopped um, it's like I hit a wall it was just like my body went no nope, that's it no more today you've had enough 
So, um, and I literally just, I didn't even have the energy to eat my tea. So, I'll put it down to age. You know, I'm not used to the intensity of what's going on here. Plus, not on top of that, we've actually had some work coming in for the tree company. So, in between the farm stuff, I'm having to go off and look at tree work as well. So it's all, it's all a bit busy at the minute. So I can't complain. The weather's been good for haymaking. The crops being done. Can't complain about the tree company being picking up and getting a bit busier. It's just there's not quite enough hours in the day. So in this old this old shell, although I'm only 19 on the inside, it's starting to get a bit warm. I don't reckon I greased it enough and uh, serviced it well enough when it was a younger model. Anyway, over to the farm, pick up the bales from our place. So we're going to finish picking up bales from Stock Hills today and uh, Fifi's. That's all going to be cleared and done. <coughs> I've got another 15 bales to pick up from Reg. So I'll be back over again later on. So there's two more loads to come from there. And then I'm going to have, what, five loads to bring up from uh, down the bottom. So we'll go and look at those bales. Um, some of them were a little bit waxy, and we owned the ads, but I'm going to go down and stick a um, steel road pin in a few of the bales. And if it comes out cold, I'll stack them. If it comes out warm, well, they may have to stay out a bit longer. We'll see. Come on, come here, come on, come here, come here. Go, I want to go and have a sniffer, I don't want to go in the tractor. So this is the last load from our farm. Um, that 14 I think we've got left out here and I think it's 15 to pick up from Regis. So the idea is all the hay from our Titherington farm will be at home by the end of the day and if I get a chance maybe even some of the bales in our own ground at home will be put under cover as well. So but we're just going to go and have a look at those first and just see how dry they are. Um, the baler was a little bit, well, they might be a bit waxy. So we're gonna go and stick a steel rod in a couple of those bales down there. And if it comes out cold, we'll put them in the barn. If it comes out with any heat on it at all, they may have to stay outside a little bit. So we're forecast thunderstorms Sunday, which I kind of hope we're gonna get because we, we need some rain. This grain's, I won't say it's parched yet, but it's, um, yeah, a bit of rain to make a big difference. start furthest away and work my way back. I parked the trailer far enough away from anything else. None of these are in my way. So yeah, we'll, we'll make the job smaller as we go. Supervisors have turned up just to make sure I'm doing it right. Let me 
make your fat, make your man happy. See me using his tractor. He wants to see me squeeze one in there. He didn't think the tractor would do it. I said, yeah, yeah, no, it did it. He goes, did it? Yeah, yeah, it did it. So that's what you're waiting for. Evidence. convincing enough. That was quick. If I chuck this last four on and take that straight to your place, can one of you give me a lift yeah, back to fetch back. that one? I'll run you back now in a minute, sorry. Brilliant, brilliant. That just saves me having to you're here, aren't you? Just see if you're having a muck about. Eh? Yeah, whatever, I don't mind as long as... Yeah, I, got, 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 I, could walk, I could walk back, but it's... No, a long old walk, I've done that. <laughs> well, it's going to take me no, ten you know, minutes to load. too much, but I've run out of fuel up here once. Oh, did you? Know, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's too... You don't say nothing, you can walk home. <laughs> <coughs> I'll bung these on, drive straight down to yours, and I'll strap this on and come back this and get when I come back, so... All right, no worries, OK? Yeah, no, I'll pick him up, so that's all right. Yeah. Well, I've got an audience, I'm going to make use of it, haven't I? lock my tractor up a minute and then we'll take this one back to Regis. Won't be long, 15 minutes and I'll be back again. So, so we've had a chat and we've got a bit of rain coming in this weekend and the Regis offered to put some more fertilizer on here for me we'll see what the weather's doing I'm not gonna put it on now because he puts on liquid fertilizer so but he reckons 50 maybe 60 units on here and I'll get a decent second cut off it and the weather's right I agree so yeah plus you might let me have that other 15 acres down at his place again so plenty of bales but if the forecasts are right for what's going to happen next year, where a drought and stuff. Uh, hang on. Then uh, I might need that.
Come on in. That's it, we're back. We're strapped on, we're leaving. Uh, maybe not starting off in third gear though, maybe. A bit cruel. Just saying to Reg when he dropped me off, once I got all the haymaking done, sometime in the next 10 days, hopefully, if I can find the time, I'll come back over here with a topper and we'll go around the headers. We don't graze this bit, um, but up that way, there's an awful lot of nettles and other weed plants. We don't really want to go to seed, so yeah, we'll be back to knock them off. We're home. Right, I'm going to get this lot off. Stowed away, and then 12 o'clock. I don't know, I'll see what Mrs. P is doing about lunch for us before I disappear, but if it's a grab it and scoff it job, I will do that, and then we'll go back and get the last load. Wait. I know you said I know you can, but I'd just rather you didn't. Right. That's the straps off. I'm surprised to see you lot in that. There's no way. No way they've eaten off everything I gave them yesterday. So, so you've come up to get in the shade, haven't you? That's what this is for. And while you're here, I'll have a quick snack. Right, so we've got a few flies around now. So I think another job. So I don't want you. Uh, I'll have you. All right, boys and girls, I've got a little treat for you. I know you like this stuff. Mmm, garlic, yummy. Right, I'll probably get a scrap over this now. I might even have to put two in here. There you go. Have fun with that. Oh yeah, poor garlic. stacking these bales too high and loosely for a minute because there was the smallest question mark about um, moisture rather than risk it and have the barn on fire I'll just stack them loose for the time being it means we've got a double handle them but yeah still better than losing the barn Bales to come over now from Reg's. Reg is very kind, he put them all in one place for me, so this should not take very long.
How long? Yeah. For uh, 21 minutes. 14 minutes. Oh, was it? Oh, I want to back. I did it for when you started. Oh, was it? All right, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I cocked up that one, Bale. I do. Well, he was flat. I thought, well, if I just if I can tip him on his side, yeah, drop down, and I could drop it down. No, it didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work, so. All right, well, I'll go on. I'll shut this in and, and come back. Do you want to go on? Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Fantastic. Thank you, mate. That's it. We're all lit up. I give him Mikey a head start. He's already on his way, way back. Um, so we'll just gently tickle on as well. Get home. I was going to call him to see Richard, but quarter past three. He's going to be milking now, so maybe I'll call back later. If I've got time. That was a dirty, dusty old job. Anyway, <coughs> it's done. So all of the bales from Stock Hills and Regis are now stacked very untidily and loosely in here. That, I assure you, is entirely deliberate. Um, I want plenty of air around these bells. We're, we're forecasting some heavy rain. I don't really want to get them wet, but I've stacked them loose, untidy, air gaps everywhere. The idea is, even if there's a bit of damp in the air, it should not be to get hot enough to catch my barn on fire. So they can go on and sweat in the air for a, another week, 10 days, and then we'll stack them over there with the rest of the bales. So all I've got to do now is bring up another 96 is it to also stack loosely in here before we stack them so yeah so we're gonna have a lot of untidily and borderline unsafe bail stacking going on for a week or so until i'm happy that they're safe to stack properly and tight and then then they'll be put away tidy <sighs> i should have had a cup of tea